sexual assault center leading us in our first virtual expressive arts drop-in um, so this is our first time there's been some technical issues on Instagram and now here we are on Facebook live trying to make this work can you hear me Alicia or see it says that you're live Okay, cool. Okay, I am live. This is good. All right, everyone. So um, I was just checking in with Alicia, our handy dandy PR person. Um, so we will get started. Um, so again, because we've had some technical issues, I need to ground, ground myself and get myself cozy and in the space. Um, I have a glass of water, so you might want to do that yourself. Grab some water, some tea, maybe a cozy blanket. Um, welcome to my studio. Um, I have my nice little salt lamp that um, helps with moods and I have a drum here and my guitar. I have a bunch of lovely books. Um, so I'm really glad you're here. Um, so in our Instagram live we started um, with a poem and I'll do the same here. So I like to read a poem sometimes when I, before I start my own personal practice, I like to read poetry. It helps me get into an imaginal space, a creative space. Um, so I've chose a poem from the book, The Rose That Blooms in the Night by Ali Michelle. And the poem I chose is called Home, since a lot of us are quarantined and alone some of us may be alone, some of us with family. Um, I personally am alone and I've chosen to look at this time as a time to learn more about myself and enjoy myself and become my own best friend. So I thought I would share this poem with you all. Home. Your mind is the house you live in, but most people do not see it in this way. And so they chase the things they think they need to have not realizing what you have can be lost in a moment. But what you are can never be taken. And so I ask you, is your mind a palace or a prison? Do not fear the house of cards you built crumbling. Once that pretty ceiling is gone, you will be able to drink in the stars in the quiet of the night and finally hear the silent invitation of your heart as she whispers, come dance with me. Okay, so let's move into our art practice. Um, today's theme is intuitive drawing. So this is for people who, um, for anyone really. So you don't have to be a visual artist to engage in this activity. I am not a visual artist myself. Um, so all you need is a pencil. I would suggest a pencil, but if you have a pen or a colored pencil or a marker, anything you have is fine. And a piece of paper is mine and what we're gonna do is we're going to just draw some shapes okay so you might be thinking Ale like I don't draw I don't know what you're saying um, I'm not trained I don't know what I'm doing these are all fine questions that happen sometimes when we're creating I would just say put your pencil on the paper and just draw some shapes. What I just did was some circles. Drew some circles. They're not perfect. It's like a little thing, but I'm going to move with it. So continue drawing. Um, I wish there was a way you could actually just see me do this, so maybe I'll draw like this. And draw this triangle. Okay. And then follow follow your instincts. Like maybe you might want to connect connect your shapes with like a line, another line. I'm gonna draw a straight edge there. But your image isn't gonna look like mine. It's just a time to relax, let go not worry about the outcome this isn't a specific craft or anything it's just you can think of it as a meditation practice it's 
scratchy sound like water flowing. Okay, we've had a lot of issues with sound today. It might just be my computer that is hot and making kind of a sound. Um, I'm going to check in with Alicia. I think that was Alicia saying this. So um, I am, we will continue to go and move with this. This is what I've got so far. Just kind of shapes shapes in space. Not 100%. Okay, so the sound is very interesting because we've been struggling with that today. But, you know, we just work with it. You're not always sure what is going to happen. You can fill in your, feel free to fill in your shapes with uh, shading, okay? So your pencil or your, your pen, you just have one tool, but how you press down can give you different shading. So I'm just going to show you like see how different it is just by how hard you press down. Check in. Okay. So I would um, invite you to use the different gradients that your pen or your your um, pencil make. Okay, and you can draw anything you want. Like if you want to put in hearts or squares or triangles, feel free to do that. There's really this is just a time to let your your mind go, let your self relax. Sometimes when we're creating, we're we move into this creative or like imaginal space. A space that isn't tied down to certain rules of reality, right? So, you know, your drawing doesn't have to meet any criteria. Okay. everyone doing it looks like um, there may still be some sound issues but I apologize so you can just hear my voice and that you're doing your own practice on your own okay my pen actually broke on my pencil so I'm going to use this one now you can see where I'm at I'm just not thinking, just adding shapes onto shapes. So I'm going to I'm gonna start doing this so you can see it, so it's a little more interactive. I'm just adding shapes on shapes, lines, kind of like being open to where the art wants to go. Right, for those of you joining us, all you need is a piece of paper and a writing utensil. I'm using a pen, uh, a pencil, and you can feel free to use whatever you'd like. 
and all we're doing is just drawing shapes. Okay, so this is what I got so far. I kind of drew this gradient because you have this one utensil, but it has different uh, textures to it. You can use it in different ways. Okay, again, I'm not a visual artist. I'm not trained in anything like that. You don't need to to, to try this creative practice. It's not about being fancy or anything. I just like to see what comes in the process of drawing. So you may surprise yourself. You may be like, oh, I really enjoy this image. You might not like it. But I kind of invite people to look at their image as um, a separate from yourself. Maybe like you're inviting um, someone to your home, you know, you might not say, oh, I really don't like your sweater. Like, you wouldn't say that. So we're kind of thinking of that as, with your image. Is like, let's just take it for what it is. We don't need to ju judge it harshly. We just notice what we notice. So, all right. Thank you for joining us, Lily. Um, we are just drawing shapes on a piece of paper. That's mine. Yours will look differently, of course. Shapes and lines. We'll be doing this for a few more minutes, and then. Um, I'm going to respond to what has come on my piece of paper, the image. I'm going to respond through words, just whatever comes to me, what I notice of the image. And then I'll respond with some music. Okay. Alright, I'm going to try to draw looking at the video. Why not? That would be, that'd be interesting. So, so, you can see what you see. This is fun. It's like backwards drawing. Ooh, put that in there. I'd love to see what folks at home are doing. I always find it very rich to see what people come up with on their own. Okay, some some shapes have like overlapped and stuff, and that's that's fine. Like I was saying before. Um, our images do not have to, they're not constrained by the rules of reality. This is an imaginal, playful space. Yes, it is for me. And, uh, oh, I can't see that, but I'm drawing tiny little circles. There. Okay, and I am getting pencil smudged everywhere. It's okay. So it's almost like this could be like an, an art journal, you know, like a, a diary. I don't know if anyone keeps a diary or a journal. I do. Um, it doesn't always look the same. Sometimes it's me venting about my life, and other times it's just like things that I'm learning, things like that. <laughs> I keep breaking this pencil. Okay, that's, that's not as hard. Do a little spiral there. Oh, I got a little heart. Thank you for the heart. I hope you're all drawing yourselves. That would be so lovely. I'd love to see images of what you come up with. OK, 
Okay, we are at our 15 minute mark, which means I'm gonna switch over to kind of looking at my piece and just seeing like what what do I notice so I'm gonna do this with you all um, I'm noticing shapes like I said not not all perfect it's what we started out with just shapes and then lines so I've got I'm drawn to this this area here it's shaded it's like two kind of imperfect shapes in a circle um, it kind of looks like um, just shapes suspended, suspended in a void space. There's a lot going on. Um, I'm seeing some like kind of squiggly textures up here and then more solid pieces here. It's kind of like a little city down here. Um, Got this lone spiral up here. It kind of feels um, disconnected to me. I'm not, I'm wanting to connect it. So I'm noticing that I want to connect it to there, to that other squiggle, squiggly circle. So I'm inviting you. I'm, this is how I kind of go through my, my drawing. I'm not judging it at all. I'm just like, noticing what I'm noticing and I'm kind of I want to invite you to do that with your piece at home um, whatever's come um, just notice it you know oh there's kind of some swooshy stripes or some jagged edges or circles or loops or little hearts or whatever it is that comes with your drawing just notice it and now I'm going to um, on my second piece. I got I'm getting loads of little emojis here. On my second, on the other side, or you can choose to do it wherever you want, but I'm going to start writing some of the words that come up for me in this drawing. So I'm inviting you to do that too. We're looking at this, this exercise as just like one, a meditative practice, but also a way to kind of move inward and like learn more about yourself. So not saying that the image is you, it is separate from you, but um, you may find some insight. So I'm just going to um, jot down some words that I think of. So um, I'll say them out loud. So I'll say swooshy, spirals, shapes, shapes in space. Shapes in space, um, smudges, imperfect, hole, dots, I write that, that feeling that I was expressing about connecting that that little spiral shape, I want to connect. So I'm, I'm gonna write wanting to connect. So we're noticing like literally what's on the page and also noticing, taking some time to notice what is coming up for you. So maybe you're looking at your image and you're like, hmm, you know, this is making me uncomfortable or, um, or I'm feeling relaxed. We don't know. So we're just going to write down what we're feeling. I'm trying to check in with myself to see what is coming up for me. Not A feeling isn't really coming up, but I'm, I'm getting the word inward. So I'm writing that down. Inward, whole again. Um, all right shapes in a void. Okay, so now that you've um, written down some words, I'm going to invite you to see if you can write a poem with those words. And you don't, you can add words to it to create your poem. Um, 
or you can just use the words that you wrote. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick and then I'm going to respond to the image um, with music. So let's just take a moment to like to look at our image, to look at the words that we've jotted down and come up with a poem. Okay, so thanks for that moment of me writing. So here are my, um, the words that I just was noticing from the drawing and then I wrote this little poem that I'll read to you. And we'll see if we can make that poem into music. Turn that poem into music. All right, I'll read this to you. Swishy spirals in space gravitate me inward to a space I hold dear endlessly flowing, unraveling, undulating the rhythm of my heart. Um, now, <laughs> the last thing I want to do is kind of come up with a title for this image and the poem. The, I'm kind of taking everything that's happened today, the poem that I read earlier from Ali Michelle from this book um, about home, um, the image and these words that have come up, the images that have come up in my mind. So um, for me, I think I'm going to just title it the last line of this poem, The Rhythm of My Heart. Um, so now I'm going to move into some music. Um, again, this is intuitive, so I am just coming up with this as I respond to the art. And I'd encourage you to do that as well. Like I said, I shared, I'm not um, a trained visual artist, but I have trained in some music. So don't, um, you do not have to be at any level to do any of these things. You can create music with your fingers and your voice with a pencil, with the cup that you have. You know, we can create rhythm and sound with whatever we have. Um, I have some drums and a guitar, so I'm going to take that. Put my inner right here so you can see it. I'm just going to do it. Alright, I was told to speak louder. I hope you can still hear me. issues. We are working through them. Here we are. Okay, is that better? Um, for sound, I removed what hopefully was making things worse with the sound. Uh, bear with us as we are new on this virtual platform, but hey, 
You can join us from your home. You can be comfy and cozy. All right, so I'm just moving my poem so I can see it in a different space. So. in space gravitate me inward to a space I hold dear endlessly flowing unraveling undulating the rhythm of my heart all right so that was a little bit of music with the poem that I created from the drawing for those of you joining us we did an intuitive drawing here next with a um, written response, some words, and then a poem. And then I just drummed and sang to that, or spoken word, kind of. So, um, anyways, I thought I could play you a song that we could all sing, something that we all uh, know, um, hopefully, or most of us would know so this this song is called what a wonderful world so if you're at home and you're like i i don't play an instrument but ale i would like to sing with you here's your chance okay so we're gonna sing what a wonderful world together because you know what we are in our homes but it is still a wonderful world we can still see the blue skies at our windows or if we have a porch or um you know Still step outside and see um, nature, you know? So anyways, this song is for us right now.
see trees of green Red roses too I see them bloom for me And for you And I think to myself What a wonderful world Thank you so much for singing along with me. This was um, such a great first virtual try. Despite all our technical issues, we were able to intuitively draw together, um, write a poem, and have a sing-along. So thank you so much, and please join us next Friday for another live video. We will hopefully have our technical issues all worked out by then, so we can be live on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, please like us, subscribe, and watch out for, for, for more virtual groups and events. See you next time. Bye.